La Pum de Pudla. I love to play Gregory Goyle. Um, it was quite, it was quite an easy part to play because he doesn't say much. I like the bad guys, so it would be Malfoy or Lucius or yeah, Malfoy or Lucius. I think so. I think so. Yeah, that, that was a little bit tricky. Um, it, we had to do a lot of uh, practice, a lot of rehearsals, and the, the producers, they weren't, they weren't sure if they wanted to keep that Polyjuice Potion scene in the film. So they made us uh, rehearse, and they made us watch the first movie, me and uh, Crab. They made, uh, made us watch the first film maybe 10, ten times, uh, you know, private screenings in central London. Uh, you know, in the, in the Warner Brothers suite. Um, ten times we had to watch it and study uh, their uh, body language and their mannerisms. Um, and then we had to perform this scene in front of the producers. It's called a show and tell. Um, and then they decide whether they like it, whether they put it in the movie or not. So they, they liked it. So. I quite enjoyed, I quite enjoyed the, my death scene in the, in the end, in uh, Deathly Hallows Part 2, because that was my first li little bit of stunt, stunt work I had to do, so they put me on a wire a harness, um, and then I had to fall uh, maybe about 20 feet, and then they catch you on the harness. Um, but I really enjoyed that scene. Uh, one I didn't enjoy, maybe, uh, ah, in I think the first movie, or maybe the second movie, uh, McGonagall's Classroom, I think the first movie, um, everyone, all the kids had uh, like a lizard, uh, you know, some had a bird, some had a hedgehog, you know, different, different, I had a, a millipede, it's this thing, this long, legs, and it was fast, it was so fast, this thing, so, they wanted me to hold it. I was like, ah, mm, not, not going to hold it. And then, uh, so I put it on the desk, and this thing was, shh, 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 was so fast. I was just, I didn't know what to do. I was panicking. And then it, it fell on the floor. And <laughs> I didn't enjoy this. There was, um, there was a scene um, in uh, uh, King's Cross Station. And um, we all, it was a very cold day, so they let's have hot chocolates. Um, so they, everyone had hot chocolates everywhere. And um, I was with Tom Felton and Jamie Waylett. Um, and it was just before we was about to shoot the scene, um, getting on the train or off the train, I can't remember. But uh, there was a, an empty cup on the floor, you know, some of these hot chocolate. So Tom Felton thought it'd be a really good idea to just stamp on it because it was empty. He thought it was empty. It wasn't empty. <laughs> it was full of hot chocolate. He's gone about that. <laughs> hot chocolate all over his car. I think he was wearing like light trousers, light coloured. So chocolate everywhere. And the costume, uh, the costume lady was not not happy. Not happy. The, the younger kids, like the first years, you'd just be walking and they'd go, Oi, Harry Potter! That was it, really. They would just shout, Oi, Harry Potter, down corridors, Harry Potter! Not even Goyle, they'd just shout, Harry Potter. Okay. So, <laughs> it was just, a, it, it was just annoying, this okay. one. I'm, I'm Gryffindor, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Did the test, came out Gryffindor. I wanted to be Slytherin. Okay. My, you know, so my, <laughs> close to my heart, but I, I came out Gryffindor, so. I can't, I can't remember whether I ate enough of them. You know this scene uh, where we take the cake, yeah. eat it? We did this like 60 times. 60 takes. Six, cut, take, cut, action. 60 times. I don't remember. I think they were okay. <laughs> I think they were, they were not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay.
Yes, some of them, some of them. Um, I'm friends with um, Chris Rankin, who played Percy Weasley. Um, I've recently um, got in touch with me and Tom Felton are talking again now, and Jamie Waylett. Me, 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 Tom and Jamie, we've not sp I didn't speak to Tom maybe five years, six years. Um, and then recently we just started uh, talking again. Uh, who else? It's mainly the ones who do a lot of comic cons, you know. They do like, events and stuff. Uh, Stanislav, who played Crumb, Victor Crumb. Um, yeah, so some. Uh, I always like um, Akio, because I can be quite lazy, you know. So if you're just on the sofa, Akio, food. <laughs>